Let's take a look at how we can pull up multiple different cameras at the same time. There's a couple different ways we can do this and it depends on what type of footage you are trying to see. For instance, if I select the live button and you'll note that it's selected when it's highlighted in red, I do have the ability to automatically pull up multiple different cameras. I can select one, four or six cameras. And when I do, the cameras that are going to be pulled up onto the screen will be highlighted as soon as my cursor hovers over any one of the thumbnails. So if I need to pull up six cameras in a live view, I simply click the six, click the camera, and now we're watching six cameras all sync to the same time. Now when I go back to my video page, if I do need to pull up historical video, let's say from yesterday, you'll notice that that option is no longer available but we can still pull up to six cameras on the screen at any given time. So I'm gonna start with my key camera. Now I'm watching this camera and let's say I wanna see what's gonna be happening over here or even on the other side of uh, this area here. All I need to do to track this employee's movements is select the side pane bar here, which is signified by that little arrow. That opens up the drawer, which houses all of the cameras for this specific location. And if I need to, I can add additional cameras here. Just by selecting that add camera button in the top right corner of the thumbnail. And again, the max that we can add is six cameras. And I would recommend that you let the last camera load and then add the camera after that. You always want to let individual cameras load so that it goes a little quicker. Now that I have all six cameras on, I can quickly review what's happening. Now keep in mind um, that I am only, when I select a location, I am only able to watch cameras from that location. However, if I select a camera group, I do have the ability to not only look at cameras from one location, but from a second, third, fourth, or fifth. It provides a much clearer or much better way to look at cameras across multiple different locations up on the screen at the exact same time. And you'll note the store numbers here are different, but that is a feature that we have by camera group. So if you are interested ever, or if you ever have a need to view multiple cameras from multiple different locations, your first step would be to create a camera group. And we do have a video available for you um, to learn how to create camera groups. But that is how we quickly pull multiple cameras up on the screen at the same time.